it now so yeah. welcome to global sports in the conclave uh, so this is this part of the uh, webinar is all about maneuvering skill sets in lockdown we have got some extremely great panel we have got uh, uh, madan lal sir from delhi uh, welcome madan lal sir we have got rajkumar sharma sir from delhi again welcome sir thank you thank you okay. We have got Lalchan Rajput Saab from uh, Afghanistan, mein, sir. Where are you? No, no, Mumbai, Mumbai. Mumbai, very good. <laughs> Welcome, sir. And and, and we have got uh, our uh, co-moderators as uh, Ajit Men, sir, from Matrix. Welcome, sir. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Yeah, and, and Gurjeet is into the Jharkhand State Cricket as well. Uh, so, Gurjeet, welcome. And Uday is uh, thank you very much. some people moderating here as well. So uh, we'll start this. We we'll basically talk about uh, two two things in the uh, whole round. पहला ये है कि जो बच्चे हैं जो क्रिकेटर हैं वो इतने दिन से लॉकडाउन में हैं उनकी उनका एक्सरसाइजेस और उनकी जो बेसिक वर्कआउट है वो हो रही है but फील्ड का गेम नहीं हो रहा है मेन प्लेइंग फील्ड पे नहीं हो रहा है so our own contention is going to be when the lockdown finishes and when they come to the main stream of the game there will be a lot of road blocks. so how can uh, we help them to uh, learn about few things and also work on the skill sets so uh, uh, i want to start this with uh, uh, you know uh, rajkumar sharma sir mm-hmm. sir how to work on reflexes and prevent them from slowing down during the lockdown especially since it's it is so vital into sports sir Uh, well, Nishant, uh, you very rightly said that it is very important that uh, they keep fit, and you know it's uh, very very difficult for any sports person to be uh, sitting at home and uh, doing nothing, and uh, it is difficult for anybody for that matter. Uh, uh, any common man uh, feels it uh, uh, difficult to sit at home, but especially as a cricketer uh, uh, who is uh, has a habit of going to the ground every day. and uh, obviously one is missing this and i was talking to somebody that kuch log lucky hain like jadeja ya pujara jinke ghar mein wickets bani hui hain ya pitches hain so they can do their practices but the places like delhi and mumbai jahan par ki ghar thode chote hain aur itni jagah nahi hai kisi ke paas ki wo apni practice bahut zyada kar sake तो उस केस में यही है कि उनको इसी तरह मोटिवेट किया जाना है बच्चों को भी कि आप अपना जो भी लिमिटेड जगह है उसमें अपना वर्कआउट जरूर करते रहें कीप ट्राई टू कीप योर सेल्फ फिट एंड देर आर लॉट ऑफ प्रोग्राम्स ऑन यूट्यूब यू कैन वॉच दैम एंड यू कैन डू दो एरोबिक्स एंड सम वॉकिंग एंड सम drills of that sort so well, there are different ways of motivating them and uh, you know it is very very important for all the sports person to do something at this stage because you know otherwise you uh, tend to uh, put on weight you uh, tend to lose your uh, reflexes so it is very very important that you keep working hard and you keep doing something or the other to keep your reflexes going on fantastic sir thank you sir uh, madipa we want to just understand how to come out of a bad patch and utilize the break to your advantage ab kai logo ka kuch technical deficits bhi hoti hai so how can this uh, lockdown uh, become beneficial for those players um let me first uh, say something you know in the big thing that i hope everybody is fine you know because this corona virus has done a lot of damage to uh, all over the world um and uh, the thing is uh, like uh, the god has given us a very powerful thing you know in our, our body that is the brain you know. how you utilize that that is a very important part of it because i always believe whatever you talk to yourself and to your brain it will start happening that's what it, uh, that's what it is a positiveness so you know lockdown is very difficult for the children because they are young they are bubbly but at the end of the day you have to be safe to yourself first and this this uh, lockdown might teaches you a lot of things like you know how to be patient how to be stronger and uh, how to be mentally tough these are the things you work on it you might have a skill you know that's not a problem okay. that's not a problem because end of the day if you are not mentally strong mentally strong you are not going to make it very simple as that because that's what my experience is in my life and and uh, regarding uh, the kids you know like i 
talk to them most of the time and but i only talk about mental toughness uh, 10 or 20 points which i have and i i give them i talk to them so mm -hmm. that is uh, i make them busy you know lot of children are very restless but you can't do anything we are all all over india all we are stuck but uh, you know that at this moment i think we should be very careful and the teaching now we have start sending the uh, small small thing i don't send more than 30 second video just to for fielding or batting or bowling small small thing i don't want to make them confused because uh, everything is in life everything is very very simple is we people are make it very complicated coaching is very simple we make it complicated the physical fitness you know which is very very important part of your life even now is very important but we can make it complicated if you can't take out your time for your own physical fitness i think it's not worth living because that is where the where the all the products lie but children we have given them the program we have given them the uh, fitness we did them a mental strength and it depends on them how you how you going to uh, utilize this time and um, hopefully when they come back and they will be better kehte hai na ki kai baar aap ghar pe baithe sochte hain khelte hain visualization karte hain some sometime you could become a better player main aapko ek story batana chahunga ek golfer tha wo jail mein gaya jail mein gaya to jail mein jaane ke baad wo 15 16 saal wo jail mein raha और 15 16 साल वो एवरी डे यूज्ड टू प्ले बॉल लाइक यू कैन प्ले क्रिकेट एवरी डे क्लोज योर आईज विद द लाइट बैटिंग बॉलिंग विद यू कैन विद द लाइट एंड व्हेन व्हेन ही केम बैक आउट ऑफ द जेल ही वाज अ हैंडीकैपर ऑफ 16 यू नो दैट्स अ वेल मेंटल स्ट्रेंथ कम्स इन विजुलाइजेशन कम्स सो दैट्स व्हाट ऑल द किड्स हैज टू डू ऑल स्मॉल स्मॉल थिंग एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू लुक आफ्टर योरसेल्फ फिजिकल फिटनेस डोंट ईट टू मच ये सब चीजें हम जो है उनको भेज रहे हैं होपफुली आई थिंक दे अंडरस्टैंड एंड नॉट ऑल दिस थिंग्स superb sir very good sir brilliant lalu sir pehle to meko i will just ask a small question on the lockdown first ki lockdown mein player ka basic apna jo motivation hota hai how can we help them to motivate themselves which can uh, you know later help them to uh, you know uh, perform when it comes to mainstream uh, game after the lockdown he yeah, as cricketers i think uh, once we take up this sport it is always a, a motivational thing that i want to do well i know because we can't go out of, out of the house we can't go on to the ground we can't uh, practice we can't do what we like the best to do we can't do that so i think a little bit of uncertainty in the mind is there there is doubt created but i think as a cricketer i think we have to be mentally strong let's be very strong and say that yes when it is there we have to come out of it most of the players are doing what they want to do in their home whether it is uh, they have a bigger house so they can do some say like i'll just give an example uh, in the yeah. house we can have a hanging ball so that is how we can yeah. just practice it so we get into that uh, repeated motion ki correct when yeah we go yeah. out it should not be this thing so mentally we are very strong enough that we have to come out of it and uh, as indians as we know that you know we come out of any situation whether it is you know uh, sometimes uh, say hmm. bombing has been done here or there is some uh, earthquake but uh, indian people are so strong that we come out of it and then we become strong so more, you know basically we are we are very strong people so we will come out of it mentally and i am sure this lockdown also we will come out of it very strongly and people will start back yes it will take a wee bit of time to get to the normal routine but surely will come uh, at a stage where we can definitely get back to our normal fantastic sir so now this panel of i am telling you is extremely great because madipa is a, was a part of 1983 world cup and uh, everyone is uh, waiting for that movie to come as well we want to relive that movement of 1983 lords may apna that world cup pick up and all and obviously that's a great moment and uh, uh, you know rajput sir has seen uh, indian team that 2007 world cup no one can forget we were just talking a few days back it was such a great triumph first match was abandoned second match was we lost third match was tied and then we we, lo we won all the match till the finals and obviously when it comes to rajkumar sharma sir he has given one gem which is perhaps the best gem of the country and every second inning he performs so that is uh, you know the cl class and quality of the people we have uh, over to ajit menon sir do you want to you know uh, ask some relevant questions uh, to the panelists please 
Sure. Uh, Madhipa, this is a question I want to ask you, and this is a question that I have been very tempted to ask. Okay. So you played with Kapil Paji, you have seen him very closely. Now, he played about, uh, you know, over 130 test matches and some 300 ODIs, and he never got injured or he never missed a match because of injury. Now, what is his fitness secret that was there, which the modern day, uh, fast, I mean, fast bowlers, all rounders, we see that after every series, uh, we are losing players to injury. So now, what what are the methods that he did? And you also, you played for so long, I mean, and so many years of domestic cricket and hardly you ever missed a match due to injury. Now, what were the training methods? Like, there's a lot of gymming going on and heavy weight training going on these days. Uh, I, I remember during those days, it was a lot of running and stretching and other things. So, what what is the difference that you feel we are not able to... Uh, you know, have that kind of fitness level for especially fast bowlers and all-rounders? Well, first of all, Fahali uh, is a very, 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 very hard work. And uh, like Mr. Kapil Dev, they, you know, like he has, he has uh, made his schedule according to his fitness and his bowling and all. You know, what happened? You know, the sports, in, uh, in, in a sports, any sports you play, the physical fitness is very important part of it. And it depends upon individuals. Individual, which, you know, like how much you want to excel in your life. Like me, you know, like Kapil Dev, we have set our own, uh, own set schedule. I used to run in the morning, you know, I never done a training in the evening. Never, ever. Even till today. I left cricket, but I never left the uh, training. But I do it in the morning. Morning is my time. That is the problem. But, you know, like, like couple the body has a different schedule, structure. My body has a different structure. So according to that, they, uh, we, we set our uh, training standard. Uh, nowadays, uh, I think the, uh, the play be very uh, fit because Mr. Uh, Mr. Virat Kohli has uh, cultivated this culture about the fitness, which is very important. It used to be, uh, it used to be last uh, you know, about 10, 15 years. When, when we didn't have any trainer or we didn't have any physical therapies or when we didn't have any, any know-how about the, about the training. But now they have it. But it depends upon you. How you go to uh, last. Because injury is a part and parcel of the parcel of the sports. Sometimes, uh, injury, you, two or three ways you can get injured. Either you have a faulty action, you are not doing training well. All these things which matter. But end of the day, it's you. I always believe it's you or not. How, you know, like you want to play test cricket, you want to play 150 cricket, 20 cricket. You train according to the according to the according to your uh, format. You train hard work because Indian wickets doesn't suit uh, suit uh, suit uh, medium pace in a bowler. Nowadays it's a little bit better, becoming better. But uh, end of the day, what happens is 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 you have to work on your whole body you know, as a as a pace bowler. Your shoulder. Your back or your legs it has to be very, very strong. Me, uh, me and Kapil Dev or Bhandaravana or anybody else, we used to do a lot of uh, endurance. Endurance, then we used to do a lot of flexibility, speed work. All these things. We have to do this. But nowadays you have a trainer available, so you can do it better. But our style is more or less like a Punjabi style. We have to train the whole stadium. We have to do everything in the stadium. But now, if you have a know-how, so you work with the trainer uh, because you have that, that sort of money to pay to the trainer. And uh, because it's all about the excel, uh, excelling in, in your department. So you have to train. And Kapil Dev, most of the fast bowlers, I never got injured. Kapil Dev never got injured. And uh, Kapil Dev had a very good easy action. Yeah, I had an uh, easy action, so that's that's why we become very very less prone to injuries. And uh, make sure that all the pace bowlers they should work on your uh, uh, work on your training. And once, I always say that if you if you can train alone, that is the name of the game because that's where your strength comes. This is a very very important thing that you have to do when you are in that's what I, I believe, you know, because then that means you're mentally strong, you're doing training, you're doing all your homework every, every day, so it becomes uh, very easy for you. Well, that's what I believe, you know, to do it yourself, 
and now the you have the help you can uh, you can take the help from the uh, from the trainer or physiotherapist or whatever those people are attached to that's what i believe and make sure the more you fit up the better your performance is nowadays i don't compare the nowadays and in the past i don't compare all these things but nowadays the cricketers are very very intelligent very very good cricketers they they know what they doing what the schedule is how they going to do it their food habits all these things is much much better than uh, when, when we used to play but we never got into them because of maybe because of uh, they uh, they have a uh, uh, they play a lot of cricket they play 50 over 20 over every day every year uh, 365 day 280 days you play cricket so it's very important to have fun but how we re uh, re rehab yourself that is another another, another chapter which, which is i think we going to take a long i won't take much of time but i know other people also have to come in and uh, talk in thank you so much paji yeah. so uh, i'll come to rajkumar sir sir uh, uh, What is a, so I'll, uh, this question is basically about a spin bowling. So, so, so what kind of a good position for a leg spin bowler of his arm during the bowling? Arm should be closest to ear or far from the ear, which is better? You know, Nishant, there are two type of bowlers uh, among the spinners. Even I'm, I'm talking about the leg spinner. Even uh, yeah. there are two type of bowlers. Like uh, if you look at uh, Anil Kumble. he was uh, sort of uh, you know far, uh, bowling uh, fast uh, leg spinners and he used to bowl uh, from close to the his head you know close to your uh, uh, ear and but on the contrary if you see chain one he used to bowl it uh, from slightly away from uh, his uh, uh, head and we call it 11 o'clock in uh, cricketing terms so yeah. the, uh, there are two type of bowlers among the leg spinners one are those who spins a lot you know Uh, and uh, one are those who bowl uh, a good length and a good uh, uh, you know quick uh, quicker uh, leg spinners but ideally if you say uh, what the manual says i be- i believe it has to be 11 o'clock not very close to your head it should not be from uh, uh, above your head it, should, it has to come uh, slightly away from uh, your uh, head uh, we call it 11 o'clock so that uh, that helps you to have more uh, you know rotation from your core and uh, hips and uh, your body is uh, you know involved uh, much which is required for a leg spinner you know so that way there are two uh, type of bowlers but uh, one has to see where uh, one is good uh, and you can't always change somebody you know if somebody is uh, good at uh, you know bowling uh, leg spin uh, like anil kumble was earlier everybody thought that uh, how he will get uh, uh, so many wickets or how he'll, uh, he doesn't spin a much, much you know but then he showed that um, he was too accurate and he was mentally so strong and you know the intelligent bowler he got the so many wickets so there are the different uh, you know uh, type of bowlers and one has to encourage uh, wherever the bowler is bowling we have to help him in that Uh, action only but ideally yeah. it has to be from the 11 o'clock very good sir brilliant sir that's very informative uh, uh, rajput sir with all the cricket you have been uh, you know training over the years you have been seeing a lot of players how can a batsman prepare himself for different formats so especially when it comes to t20 odi or in, or a days match especially uh, with respect to his mental toughness and mental thoughts see there are different types as you said there are see earlier it was only test cricket and one day cricket then the t20 yeah. came but to prepare for all these format it's the same it's only the mindset which changes actually because in mm. test cricket the mindset is that i have to occupy crease i have to bat longer i have to stay at the crease and mm. you have got whole day there is no restriction on the over so that you know you can bat long and you know make big score but in t20 which has come recently it is the mindset that i have to play quickly or we call it is power play because you know if you look at the t20 is basically power uh mm, skill level is there but yes power because you cannot even have one dot ball because if you mm. have one dot ball uh, there will be a shout from the pavilion oh maro maro so because mm. that mindset mm. is that i have to hit the ball and i have to score but at the same time scoring uh, in both the formats i think it's the same that you have to have a good skill level and uh, for uh, t20 as i said the mindset is that i have to score quickly 
and mm -hmm. with scoring the power game as well so you got to maneuver you got to have options you got to you know change your stance sometimes they like earlier days mm -hmm. we never used to have reverse sweep but now mm -hmm. in t20 you can do reverse sweep you change your stance quickly you do mm -hmm. tilt scoop uh, and you have all sorts of you know variations in shot so that is that is the license you know you get when you play a t20 but in test mm -hmm. cricket you got to be very very precise you got to be very technically strong initially mm -hmm. when you go into bat people will always say you play mm -hmm. in the weak don't have to give mm -hmm. any chances close to the body mm -hmm. so the mindset mm -hmm. is that no i have to play close to the body and you know bat mm -hmm. straight with the full pace of bat and then mm -hmm. the one day cricket one day cricket mm -hmm. i think it's between t20 and test cricket uh, mm -hmm. we have the same type of mindset in one day cricket because it is 300 balls you have to play so especially the mm. openers get their mm. eye in they get set in and then they Correct. can you know start you know uh, um, uh, uh, playing is short but and in one day cricket also the first three batsmen have enough time or four batsmen get more time but mm. the batsmen who come at the later stages say last five overs are there so they normally bat like t20 only so Correct. different mindset when you go into bat at what position you are batting and i think how many overs are left so mindset is is very very important in you know you know maneuvering yourself to play in that format so as a cricketer i think the best cricketers they change their mindset very quickly and we always say in cricketing you know they adapt to the situation very quickly say like virat kohli mm. he plays test cricket he plays one day cricket he plays t20 as well but he mm. adapt to all these formats very quickly because mm. he has got a very good mindset because which can adapt so i feel mindset mm. is very important to adapt as quickly to the situation as 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 important thank you sir uh, well dilshan has done something or not but he has uh, given a terminology called the scoop <laughs> good sir so badipa this is for you how can a fast bowler can enhance their speed without losing the swinging ability so here there a technical hai aapke liye sir yeah technical you know like first of all when we see a fast bowler if he bowling fast and good we never change We never mm. change that. Or you, I'm talking about 140 or 145. We never change that. Little bit here and there, we 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 will change it. Uh, but uh, what happened when you are bowling quick and with the experience playing the matches, you know, you become a, a more matches you play, the better you go to become. We never change mm. a bit. We mm. will see that you don't get injured. Only we have to I see the his action. Little bit change. That that mm. that I can, I can only make it. But end mm. of the day, if he's bowling fast, I will not change. Regarding the swing bowling, that's where you have to be very very careful. You know uh, how you, what sort of speed you are bowling, what sort of actually, how you go to bring the ball in, or how it, it depends for you a lot. Depends on your action. You know? mm. We see the we see uh, we see the how he, he can be more effective. Which corridor he has to bowl. That is that is a that is a uh, thing we teach is about. First thing in fast bowling is very important that your run up has to be very very good. Then once you have a good run up, then when your gathering is good, uh, once it will become your gathering is good. Then I think you you can uh, you can swing the ball a lot better. But even if you are not in the hand, but you must know where I am going to pitch the ball. End of the day, is is where you go to hit uh, hit in the back end. That is important part of uh, swing ball. Swing the ball will swing. It depends upon how you how you make it. Right? So how you go to make ball swing. You know? um, and uh, I believe also that uh, uh, swing. You know, once the ball starts swinging, it's very difficult for a player to buy uh, to batsman to play. Uh, whether fast ball or still people can manage. But when the ball is moving, it's very very difficult. But you have to control yourself. That is comes in with a lot of practice and hard work. You know? and uh, i always believe if you don't have the speed then you make sure that you adjust your seam and swing body uh, which you have a lot of uh, wide, uh, variation you follow that you practice for that which we teach them and uh, according to that they they, they practice and all but you have to learn how to bowl in a one corridor and mm. all your uh, run up just a minute the run up your gathering and your finishing follow through all this thing which matter, which matters you know for a game ball and that's what it is all about one, one thing i okay. want to uh, tell uh, you know like you know in a play for where people uh, you know maybe to see one subject which we are uh, lacking in this country is a uh, sports uh, psychologists i think that is a very very uh, uh, 
subject is which is which we we should bring in because i believe you know the game is played in the minds and most of the time and i have done a lot of research for this psychology sports psychology i have done taken lessons from america and i am reading a lot of books but uh, what i believe you know end of the day is the mind you know is the where mm-hmm. where you where you can go to make it you know as even in a small place ball or you know if you move in the ball if you are small you know people like us we used to think about it how we going to get the bat on out that you have to work on your uh, work on your side you know that's the what it matters you know that subject has to come in if you really want to be the best team in the world sports psychology has to be there in a very lower level from low level to top level that is what i believe you know my experience is no no extremely extremely good sir because very very important now just to add on to the same question uh, how can a fast bowler can uh, do to improve his current uh, skills as per uh, saying this uh, you know so we talk about uh, how can he improve the skill set uh, of the current uh, you know talent he has ek baat main bahut kehna chahta hu sorry main bhul gaya hu koi next because you know to for to increase the speed i think you have to bowl with a lot of with a tennis ball i have done experiment hmm. and uh, that yeah. uh, has been very very successful because of you know when you bowl the tennis with the ball not my you start with the six ball seven ball eight ball your rotation of the arm is going to be quicker with uh, the lighter the ball the arm action is going to be quicker so that is where i think you can increase a little bit of speed not that you know you increase a lot of but it going to make a lot of difference that's what i'm i want to finish, uh, say that you know i i miss a point superb sir very nice So now, what we have seen is over a period of years, uh, lot of players come with good talent, uh, lot of players do well. But then something which really you know uh, keeps them on the back foot is the injury. Uh, we have seen some injury happens due to uh, we don't have the right kind of physiotherapist who are there to help them. Sometimes we don't. We see there are all the gym trainers have become the sports trainers, so they, they don't know. what specific exercises were to be done to the uh, you know the talent and obviously the role of orthopedic surgeon should be on prevention so that what we had covered in our uh, global sports injury conclave we did in january so we spoke about prevention of injury identification of injury and management of it so it goes to uh, rajkumar sir could you please uh, enhance uh, one is uh, the type of injuries normally you see in uh, players second uh, the role of uh, physiotherapist and uh, trainers uh, in their uh, uh, you know treatment and uh, coming back to the uh, greens again look um, in this matter i would say uh, there is lot of uh, things which have to be taken care of from the state associations what happens nishan when a player uh, comes to under 19 team from there onwards uh, you know the Uh, state or the team management uh, uh, the coaches and uh, you know physiotherapists start working on them and uh, prior to that they had no you know past history unko kuch idea hi nahi hota tha ki hame kaise training karni hai kya kya karna hai so suddenly they find that they are skillful and they are in the under uh, 19 teams ya for that matter in the 17 team usse pehle unhone na unko pata hota tha ki training kaise ki karni hai aur ya na unko bataya gaya tha तो उनको वो इंजरी जब वो यहाँ पे आके एग्जर्ट करते हैं व्हेन दे दे टू डू वेल एंड देन मीट सच इंजरीज और उस इंजरीज में मोस्टली व्हाट आई हैव सीन इज बैक प्रॉब्लम मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम फास्ट बोलर्स फेस इज बैक प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज यहाँ पे आके वो तेज डालने की कोशिश करते हैं दे वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रेस सेलेक्टर दे वॉन्ट टू इम्प्रेस द टीम मैनेजमेंट एंड अभी तक क्योंकि उनकी ट्रेनिंग नहीं हुई होती और उनको आइडिया नहीं होता कि कैसे वार्म अप करके मुझे वो नेट्स में बॉल डालना है या मैच में बॉल डालना है तो उनको वो इंजरीज हो जाती हैं एंड देन आवर फिजियोज खैर अभी तो बी सी सी आई एज डन सो वेल कि अब सब क्वालिफाइड हैं एन सी एस ए मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम जो भी स्टेट के साथ एसोसिएटेड हैं किसी भी जूनियर टीम्स में भी तो अब फिजियोज आर क्वाइट लर्नड एंड दे हेल्प देम बट यू नो वॉट आई फील कि हमें जो स्टार्ट करना चाहिए बच्चों की ट्रेनिंग इट शुड बी फ्रॉम द बिगनिंग इट सेल्फ नॉट वेन दे रीच अंडर नाइनटीन और अंडर ट्वेंटी टू लेवल बिकॉज तब तक उनके वो मसल डेवलप हो चुके होते हैं और और उनको आइडिया नहीं होता है अपनी बॉडी का अपने एक्शन का 
and then they exert and they uh, do uh, fall into all these uh, sort of injuries or uske baad fir wo rehab mein unka kafi samay jata hai aur fir kafi pareshaniyan bhi hoti hain when they are making a comeback it is always in the back of their mind ki mujhe dobara wo back pain na ho jaye hmm hmm correct sir very right sir rajput sir we want to understand what should be the head position while hitting the ball so this is a very technical on a batsman and side so can you just uh, throw some light on that yeah very important is when you want to hit the ball your head should be still a and plus you should be watching the ball i think head position is very very important while executing a shot uh, if you want to play a front foot drive we always say your head should not be ahead of your toes because when the head goes ahead of your toes then your body weight falls your body weight should be well balanced so that you know you can execute the shot well and mm. once your body weight is well balanced you can execute and where you want to hit because as a batsman i want mm. to hit in the gap so you got to get into that position properly first and once your weight is equally distributed you get into that position and watch the ball hitting the bat i think that's very very important in, uh, in any class of cricket but if you look at t20 t20 as i said people are its power game uh, your uh, leg will be on leg side and then you want to hit on the off side uh, so there is no coordination between head uh, your uh, legs and your body position but if you try to play that shot and even if you edge it and go to the third man in t20 it's a very good shot because you got four runs or sometimes you edge it and it goes over a wicket keeper's head and get a six run so it's a good shot but skill wise technically is very important that you watch the ball keep your head still and then you execute the shot that's the that's the basic because if you want to teach a youngster koi bhi bachcha ko agar aap bologe ki aap seedha sir ball ko upar dekhna aur fir maarna lekin they will ask you question nahi sir ipl mein to aise khelte hai so it's very difficult sometimes to you know explain them but you got to teach them the right way because everybody wants to play ipl nowadays but i think very important is that you have to play for your state and the country ipl will come automatically so i think if your base is strong you can play any form of cricket just mai hamesha kehta hu as a coach because agar jab aap building bante hai agar uska agar clean acha hoga to building last kari usi tarah cricketer ka agar base acha hoga so he can maneuver his shots in any format of the game Superb, sir. This, is old, this is old school of thought uh, in which, which we all are but uh, nowadays yeah. <laughs> as you rightly said uh, all the parents wants ki ipl kab khelega hamara bachcha ya even correct, matter, correct. Uh, ladka, bache bhi aake hi kehte hain ki uh, mera ipl mein kis tarah hoga they don't aim for uh, playing for india uh, and they feel proud ki hum kis tarah ipl ki team mein aa jaye aur uh, we are not a lot of money and uh, we are not a lot of fame correct sir yeah, it's easy to say that but it's very very true that you know uh, when you play for the So I am with Chris Gayle since since lot of years. So we have realized that even miss hit of Chris Gayle goes for a six. So that <laughs> so Raj Kumar sir, after my next question was when people mm. come to you, the mm. children come to you. How much thought is there that I have to play for my country? How much thought is there that I have to play for IPL? So my question is: Is T20 cricket is overpowering the the ambition of a cricketer to play for the country or killing it well agar aap average dekhenge aaj kal ki nishan to mujhe lagta hai ki 75% bachche aur unke parents ye soch kar aate hain ki hum ipl kaise khelenge ye bahut kam log hain jo purane cricketers hain ya jo cricket ko bahut pyar karte hain parents aur wo chahte hain ki hamara bachcha india ke liye khele aur wahan se fir ipl mein aaye तो अब ये माइंडसेट एक थोड़ा सा चेंज हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्लैमर दैट अमाउंट ऑफ मनी दे गेट इन आईपीएल एंड इसलिए सभी का थॉट ये होता जा रहा है कि हम आईपीएल किस तरह खेलेंगे तो कोचिंग बिकम आल्सो डिफिकल्ट कि जैसे अभी लालू कह रहा था कि पैर कहीं होता है और सिर कहीं होता है और चौका चला जाता है एंड एवरीबडी अप्रिशिएट की चौका मार दिया थर्ड मैन पे चौका सोशल स्टेज पे so that mindset has to uh, change you know and people like us are called the old school uh, of uh, thoughts ki nahi bhai aapko technically correct hona chahiye agar aap acha khelenge to aapko automatically ipl mil jayega that is what we always maintain that if you are a good cricketer you are playing for the country then automatically uh, the ipl will come but abhi people uh, have started looking for shortcuts so i don't blame uh, t20 cricket for that uh, ki t20 ne aisa kiya hai lekin uh, t20 
may people are enjoying players are enjoying everybody is being benefited so nobody is willing to say that it is spoiling the game not even me i am not saying it is spoiling the game but yes cricket has changed and the priorities have changed that is uh, uh, the thing which i don't appreciate that the, i believe that priority should be to play for the country and, and ipl will follow yes sir what you are saying is right the only difference between uh, 20 years back and today is the platter of player has become very big and very large or uh, uh, t20 cricket thoda fast cricket hai thoda glamorous hai ipl bahut glamorous hai so focus wahan pe hai i still remember aaj se 20 saal pehle uh, ek yoga guru jharkhand mein aake sare player ko ek kit diya bola please write ki tumko life mein kya karna hai aur sabne likha ki mujhe india ke liye khelna hai सिर्फ एक खिलाड़ी था उसका नाम था एम एस धोनी उसने लिखा था कि आई वांट टू विन मैचेस फॉर इंडिया सो इट इज नॉट दैट ही थॉट समथिंग डिफरेंट बट वो बेसिकली नेचुरल था सो इट्स अ वेरी वेरी बिग स्टोरी मदीप आई आई बेसिकली वांट टू यू नो हैव योर थॉट कि अभी इस लॉकडाउन में अगर हम दो लाइन में बोलना चाहेंगे या सजेस्ट करना चाहेंगे किसी प्लेयर को कि तुमको क्या करना चाहिए जो लॉकडाउन में सक्सेसफुली तुम कर सकते हो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी योर एडवाइस मैं एक थोड़ा सा ऐड करना चाहूंगा जो के बारे में थोड़ी थी देखिए जो खिलाड़ी टेस्ट क्रिकेट में अच्छा है आई नेवर इनकर्ज यंग्वेंटी क्रिकेट अगर आप टेस्ट क्रिकेट में अच्छा खेल रहे हैं यू ऑटोमेटिकली गुड इन फिफ्टी ओवर एंड ट्वेंटी बिकॉज यू हैव द आइडिया ऑफ गेटिंग in test cricket you have the idea of getting 100 runs or you have the idea of it with bowling 15 over getting to 5 6 wickets then 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 you get uh, become more confident but in a in a in a 50 over then your mindset changes like both of them said or at mar and lachand uh, uh, said is is like that and but 20 over also you know you have to practice now then but you know like simple very simple in, in life agar aap test cricket cricket acha khelte hain your brand value becomes more because if you are selected in ipl playing for the country your brand value is one or two crores but if you are just going straight to the ipl matches unless then you are a brand value is only in 50 lakh or 1 lakh or 10 lakh or that right unless you are a different you know something different happening with you you have a different actor you are big you know, then might be a one or two percent people are like that but otherwise Brilliant, sir. 
सर राजपूत सर मैं आपके पास आऊंगा उसके पहले एक छोटा एग्जांपल आपको दे दू सरफराज खान अंडर 19 क्रिकेट में बहुत अच्छा किया करके आया और ही व्हेन वाज बैटिंग फॉर आईपीएल वी सॉ लॉट ऑफ हिज शॉट्स केम बिहाइंड द विकेट स्कूप करके और ऐसे करके उस तरीके से एंड देन यू नो दिस सीजन ही हैज रियली वेल विद वन ट्रिपल हंड्रेड वन डबल हंड्रेड एंड ऑल दो थिंग सो देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एग्जाम्पल इज वेल यू नो मेंटल टफनेस का भी बहुत बड़ा एक रोल है इसमें सर आपके हिसाब से मेंटल टफनेस के लिए और प्लेयर के स्किल्स के लिए अभी के हिसाब से व्हाट विल बी दैट टू लाइन ऑफ सजेशन यू गिव टू देम सर सी एज यू टॉक्ड अबाउट सरफराज खान आई थिंक ही वाज वेरी टैलेंटेड एंड देन ही प्लेड आईपीएल ही डिड एक्सेप्शनली वेल बट एज आई सेड ओनली आईपीएल डजंट टेक यू फर्दर हमने सबने कहा राजकुमार ने भी कहा मधीपा भी कह कि आपको फोर डे क्रिकेट का जानकारी होना बहुत जरूरी है उसने उसके बाद मुंबई टीम में 1 साल था फिर बाद में उसको निकाला गया और अभी वो काफी स्ट्रांग बन के आया है कि ही हैज टू स्कोर बिग रन आपने देखा इस साल ही हैज स्कोर्ड ट्रिपल हंड्रेड ही हैज गॉट अ डबल हंड्रेड सो नाउ ही इज मोर मैच्योर्ड एंड ही नोज द वैल्यू कि नहीं मैं खाली आईपीएल खेल के मुझे इंडिया नहीं खेल पाऊंगा तो इसीलिए ही हैज टू वर्क ऑन इज बेसिक्स अगेन एंड ही हैज गॉट दैट थिंग राइट दैट आई हैव टू स्कोर बिग रन सो हाउ यू कैन स्कोर बिग रन बिकॉज यू हैव टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट यू हैव टू बी मेंटली स्ट्रांग टू बी देयर फॉर टू लॉन्ग से आपको पांच घंटा बैटिंग करना है आईपीएल में आप आधा घंटा बैटिंग किया आपने 50 रन बना दिया तो बहुत ही बढ़िया खेले या आप 20 बॉल में 40 रन किया या 20 बॉल में 60 रन किया तो इट्स अ बिग थिंग बट ऐसा नहीं चलता है नो इफ यू वांट टू प्ले लॉन्गर के सो यू हैव टू बी मेंटली स्ट्रांग सो दिस लॉकडाउन इज टीचिंग एवरी टू बी स्ट्रांग इनफ बिकॉज आप घर पे रह रहे हैं आप अपने फ्रेंड से नहीं मिल सकते हैं आप आप बाहर जाके ट्रेनिंग नहीं कर सकते हैं आप जो अच्छा आपका जो गेम है जैसा बैट्समैन तो बैटिंग नहीं कर सकते हैं आप बॉल को मार नहीं सकते हो तो आई थिंक यू आर मेंटली वेरी यू नो अपसेट विद दैट बट दिस लॉकडाउन हैज टॉट यू दैट नो यू गॉट टू बी स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ टू ओवरकम दिस जैसे हम लोग कभी कभी मिलिट्री ट्रेनिंग करते हैं पता है कि नहीं जब प्लेयर लोगों को ना मिलिट्री ट्रेनिंग के लिए जाते हैं और जैसे मिलिट्री लोग ट्रेनिंग करते हैं उसी तरह क्रिकेटर लोग को भी ट्रेनिंग वाई बिकॉज टू मेक द मेंटली स्ट्रांग क्योंकि कोई भी सिचुएशन में आप सकम नहीं होना चाहिए बिकॉज क्रिकेट में आप लास्ट बॉल तक गेम नहीं छोड़ना है आप लास्ट विकेट लेने तक आप जीते या हारे का निर्णय नहीं होता है तो इसी तरह आपको एक स्ट्रांग फीलिंग होना है कि नहीं मैं किसी भी हालत में मैं किसी भी पोजीशन से मैं मैच जीत सकता हूँ मैं किसी भी पोजीशन से मैं मैच निकाल सकता हूँ तो उसके लिए आपका मेंटली स्ट्रांग होना बहुत जरूरी है और मुझे लगता है कि लॉकडाउन में जैसे कि आप घर में काम करते हो आप क्योंकि कोई घर में काम नहीं आ रहे तो यू हैव टू वॉश योर यूटेंसिल यू हैव टू क्लीन योर हाउस Uh, and you have to sometimes cook as well so that is one way of getting mentally tough as well so i still feel this lockdown has brought lot of people uh, to the ground level and plus on to their feet that you know hum logo ko kuch karne ka paane ke liye kuch karna pad raha hai jaise ki ghar mein bhi kaam kar rahe to pehle aake hum log just bag fek dete the bachche log fekte hain aur bas apna game chalu ye pubg aajkal naya aa gaya hai पीपल uh, जैसे मदन लाल ने कहा मैं बहुत इम्प्रेस हूँ उससे कि बच्चे लोग को एक से दो घंटा पढ़ाई करना बहुत जरूरी है साथ में तो अखा दिन है आपको बारह घंटे मिलते हैं उसमें एक घंटा पढ़ाई करो बाकी आप तो यू हैव टू इवेल्युएट टाइम हम लोग कहते हैं कि टाइम स्लॉटिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जैसे प्रैक्टिस के लिए भी स्लॉट करो पढ़ाई के लिए स्लॉट करो जैसे हम खाना खाते हैं लंच टाइम होता है ब्रेकफास्ट टाइम होता है डिनर टाइम होता है उसकी तरह आप स्लॉट करो एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू आर वेरी वेरी टफ और कोई भी सिचुएशन से आप डरे नहीं और मुझे यही लगता है कि लॉकडाउन हमको बहुत सारी सिखाई गई है एक बात मैं कहना चाहूंगा बड़ी जरूरी बात है आपको बताना चाहूंगा ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स नेशनल मंडेला स्टेट इन वनसोलिडेडन ईयर्स वो जेल के अंदर है एक ओपरिंग में राजकुमार सर लास्ट बेट मैं बस अब अब आज का सबसे बड़ा एग्जाम्पल हिंदुस्तान का विराट कोहली है ऑब्वियसली विराट का आपका ट्रेनिंग लेवल बहुत बहुत डिफरेंट है विराट ने आज इंडिया में फिटनेस प्लाटर खड़ा कर दिया है कि इफ यू हैव गॉट टैलेंट दैट्स फाइन बट इफ डोंट यू डोंट हैव फिटनेस देयर इज नो स्पेस नो दैट्स अ वेरी बिग स्टेटमेंट और अभी जो करंट इंडियन टीम है दैट्स गोइंग ऑन अ फैंटास्टिक रन बिकॉज़ एवरीवन इज सो फिट 
एंड द फील्डिंग लेवल्स हैव गॉन टू द स्काई सर आपका एक मेरे को एक दो लाइन का सजेशन इफ यू कैन गिव टू द प्लेयर्स ऑल द स्मॉल रेंजेस ऑफ प्लेयर्स बिकॉज़ वी हैव गॉट वीडियोस ऑफ मोर देन 50 प्लेयर्स ऑल अक्रॉस द कंट्री हु हैज टोल्ड अस व्हाट आर दे डूइंग इन 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 विद इन 10 सेकंड्स व्हाट आर दे डूइंग इनडोर्स so what is your suggestion to the guys who should take care and what what to do and as per you what what should be your suggestion sir dekhiye agar aap first class cricket khel rahe hain to you very well know ki what is to be done because you have got trainers and uh, uh, working for you but for mai to usse bhi niche aana chahunga under 17 under 19 levels pe jo khel rahe hain they should realize that the fitness is the foremost thing एंड जैसा कि विराट ने अभी एक बेंचमार्क भी बना दिया है कि आपको यो यो टेस्ट भी क्लियर करना होगा अगर आपको अपनी स्टेट टीम में भी खेलना है तो ये एक बहुत अच्छी एक चेंज आया है इंडियन क्रिकेट में और देखें अब भारतीय टीम पहले भी बहुत अच्छी टीमें रही हैं इंडिया की लेकिन अब अगर देखें फिटनेस लेवल में ये इंडियन टीम सबसे फिट लगती है आज इस टाइम में जो कि पहले शायद नहीं था और अगर ये फिटनेस लेवल पहले होता तो हमारी टीम में और अच्छा परफॉर्म करती तो ये एक अच्छा चेंज आया रेवोल्यूशनरी चेंज आया इंडियन क्रिकेट में और इसको सभी को फॉलो करना चाहिए क्योंकि इसमें सभी का फायदा है इससे फील्डिंग स्टैंडर्ड्स इतने इम्प्रूव हो गए हैं हमारी रनिंग बिटवीन द विकेट्स अगर आप देखें कितना इम्प्रूव हो गया है तो एक टोटली चेंज एटमोसफियर है एंड फिटनेस इज फॉर एवरीबडी यू नो सब अपने लिए है और जैसे कि मधिपा ने पहले कहा था कि अगर आप फिट हैं तो आप आपका परफॉर्मेंस भी एनहेंस हो जाता है एटलीस्ट ट्वेंटी परसेंट आपका परफॉर्मेंस एनहेंस हो जाता है इफ यू आर फिट सो माय सजेशन टू ऑल द यंगस्टर्स एंड फॉर एवरी क्रिकेटर इज कि प्लीज वर्क हार्ड ऑन योर फिटनेस एंड हैव अ शेड्यूल फॉलो दैट शेड्यूल एंड ट्राई टू बी फिट फॉर बिगर क्रिकेट सुपर सर थैंक यू मधिपा thank, thank you lal kumar sir thank you lal sir thank you thank you Shashan. great to thank be you. here we had a great panel and great discussion we will forward you sir few things jo ki uh, last may we had good uh, dietitians and uh, nutritionists who had come up who say that even uh, uh, having some good uh, citric thing and lemon helps people to build a lot of mutility themselves so I'll share that as well sir or uh, thanks a lot again from the forum sir thank you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.